welcome to Aerobics All Stop. You can just call me Mrs. Macquarie if you like, because that's exactly where we are. We're at Mrs. Macquarie's chair, which is right in the middle of the city. It's a beautiful spot, obviously in Sydney, or maybe not so obviously in Sydney. You don't know, we're in Sydney. We've got Fort Denison behind us. Uh, and we might have a bit of a history lesson later on about exactly what Fort Denison is. Let's begin with a step touch. Step touch. Now we've got a body conditioning show, but we're going to mix it up a little bit today. We're going to do a bit of movement, a little kind of groovy dance style movement, and then we're going to do some abdominals and some butts to finish. So if you do this, you're getting all the benefits of working out. You're going to burn some body fat from doing the movement, and you're also going to get nice and tight and toned from doing those muscular toning exercises. Four more. Three more and march on the spot, please. Marching. Okay, on the right leg, let's do a mambo. Go now. Mambo. Now make the mambo face the left corner. Four of them. Three more. Still two to go. One more. Now do a chasse change. Four on the other side. Four. Swing your arms. Go three. Two more, please. One more. Chasse change. Cut it down to two mambos. One more. Chasse change. Two mambos. One more. Now what do you think? One mambo. Other side. One, two, three. One, two. One, two, three. One, two. Pardon? You feel warm already. Everyone's just saying how cold it is. Although it looks like a beautiful day, there is a little bit of wind. And we already feel warm. Okay. Do three more of these. Three. Two more. One more. Now pivot turn. March forward. Go now. March back. Pick up your knee. Two more times. March forward. March back. One more time. Now you're going to do the left leg mambo. Left leg. Go. Three. Two to go. One more. Then do the pivot turn. March forward. Who messed up? Nah, nobody. No one saw. <laughs> okay, mambo. This leg. Three. Does that help? Two. One. Pivot turn. Mambo. Other leg. Three. There we go. I don't even have to tell you which leg anymore. One pivot turn. Three mambos. Let's go. Three. Swing your arms. Two. One pivot turn. Who did it that time? Mambo. Three. And two. One pivot turn. Now step touch. Step touch. Can't go wrong with a good old step touch. Four more. Four and three. Two steps to the right. Two steps to the left. Make it a chasse ball change. One, two, step back. One, two, step back. Shimmy, pull back. Shimmy, maybe not a shimmy. Maybe not a shimmy. Let the arms come up. Lift, lower. If anyone wants to shimmy, go ahead. Good, I'll have a bit of a chuckle behind me. Keep going, up and back. Step clap, four times. Four and three. Chasse, shimmy. Help me get silence. Step clap four times. Turn. Chasse. Go. Okay, move your step clap forward. Step forward. Step forward. Chasse backwards. Back. Ready? Step clap forward. Four and three. Two. Chasse back. One, two, step back. Last time, scoop forward. Almost. Chasse back. Hip. Okay, march on the spot. From the beginning, right leg mambo, go. Three, again, two, again. Pivot turn, other leg mambo. Three, again, two, one more. Pivot turn, step clap forward, go, go. Oh yeah, great bike, chasse back. Other side, scoot forward, four times, four, three. Chasse back. All right, now march on the spot, please. Marching, body up tall, swing the arms, little toe tap in front. Tap, tap, tap. Now just sort of pull the arm in, pull. Like you, like one of those things on the trains and you pull the things down on the train or on the truck. In. Keep going, keep it going. There's still eight more, please. Pull down, seven, six, five, four, three. Leave the right heel out, boom. And lean forward, taking a nice quick stretch. Quite important to do so, as you know, just before you get stuck into a workout, you do a quick stretch. But you can do it now. Change legs, please. Foot out in front, leaning forward, weight on the thigh. Chest up, and bucks out. Stay right there, four to go. Four, three, march on the spot. 
Swing your arms up. Okay, hands behind you. Chest forward, shoulders back. Now remember, we'll be back on the other side of this break to continue with a bit of an aerobic workout. So please, join us real soon. going and Effie's just commented that it's her favourite show, probably because we're doing dance style movement and I know how much Effie loves to dance. Before we keep going though, let's do another stretch, pull your heel up behind you, squeeze your bottom, press your pelvis forward. Hey, we have got a little bit of wind here, believe it or not, we'll just sort of tunes falling into the ocean. Change legs please, change legs, squeeze your bottom, press your pelvis forward. Tony the sound man, can we have this song a little faster please? Yeah, we like things fast. Squeeze the bottom pelvis forward. And marching on the spot. So if we can get the music a little bit faster, that'd be fabulous. Swinging your arms. Okay, now we're gonna do the movements that we've already done. You know them. Let's just do them one more time. So the right leg, mambo, cross it over. It goes three, other side, for two, and one more. And the pivot turn, you're on the other leg. Mambo, cross, three, again, two, one more. Pivot turn, now scoot forward. Let's go. Four and three, two, shut, stay back. One, two, step behind. Toe tap in front. Tap, tap, push your arms out. Now turn it to the side and push your hip out as well as your foot. Now press your arms back. Now movement as small as this actually takes up a lot of energy. You really turn your body to the side. Might not look hard, but you give it a go. It is not easy in terms of intensity. Keep it going. There's still eight more. Eight, seven. Does it swear anyone else out as well? Yeah? <sighs> Marching. Marching. We got one more time from the beginning and add that on the end. Ready? Mambo. Go now. Again. Again. Add the pivot turn. Change legs. Mambo with style and class and grace and poise, pivot and sophistication. Scoot forward. Yeah, not me, that's for sure. Chasse back. Hey, hep. Now the toe tap in front, face front. Yeah, now turn it to the side. Hep, hep. Do it facing front. Four, three. Facing the side. Press. Now the ultimate June Jones move, hippy shake. Hip, hip, shake. Hippy, hippy, shake. One, two, double. Keep it going. Four more. Three, two, and one. March on the spot. Isn't it funny to be so long since I've done that move? I'm always forgotten how to do it. I feel like a big gumby. Everyone, mambo, go. What was that? Yeah. You don't think so? I felt like it. Pivot turn. Change legs, mambo. Three, swing the arms. Two, one. Pivot turn. Scoot forward, travel. You got the room, let's use it. Chasse back. One, two. Toe tap in front. Tap, tap. Turn it to the side. Push, push. Hippy shake. One, two, double. One, two. Oh, I think I've got it back now. Hip. March on the spot. Found it. <laughs> I lost it for a while. I came back. Please. Three, ra cha cha. Two, ra cha cha. Pivot turn. Scoop it. Go, girls. Head. Looking very bright we are today. Chasse back. Again. Toe tap in front. Really serious. Ready? Turn it to the side. Hey. Go, Jody. Hippy shake. One, two, double. One, two, double. One, two, double. March on the spot. Deep breath in. Stay feeling. Hopefully you've got your heart rate elevated a bit. Your body should be really warm. Two more deep breaths. Lift up. Bring it down. So as I said, now we move on to some more body conditioning exercises. So feet together, squat down. Squat, squat. We've done our dance, aerobic movement side of it. Now we move on to start making the muscles tight, strong and toned. Eight, seven. Feet out wide for the next four. Four, three. Let's slow it down. Down. Lift, down, suck your butt under and squeeze as you do so. Lift. 
lift. So you're working your thighs, your butts, your legs. Lift. Still two to go. One more. Now three pulses down. Three, two, lift up. Go again. Three, two, one. Lift up two more times. Three, two, one. One more time. That's enough for our legs. We've been standing up for quite a while. I'd love you to lay down. Lay down. On your back. You lay down. I just don't lay on my microphone. That's all. Oh, that's better. Ah. What do you say we just stay here for a while? Relax, relax. Okay, start crunching, guys. Now I'm going to ask you to continue crunching throughout the break. Lifting up and down, heels in close, hands behind the head. See you real soon, and I know you'll still be crunching. Up. Still crunching, up and down. Lift, we didn't stop at all. Makeup artists came running in, they patted down our faces. My nose is like growing, isn't it? You can see it. Lift. And my pants are on fire. <laughs> That's right. Lie, lie, pants on fire. Now guys, just in case you're wondering, there's a bit of a rustle sound. The only reason that is because it's pretty windy out here and the like, wind is whooshing all over the microphone. So if that's what you're hearing, nothing strange, don't adjust your television set. That's all it is. Lift, lower. Crunching. Now keep crunching. I'm going to go around chat to the girls because that's what the leader tends to do whenever you do abdominal crunches, isn't it? It's like the leader never tends to keep doing abdominal crunches, so I'm not going to break that habit. I'm going to keep going. Now, Jody, if I can get you to pick one knee up as you crunch up and then do the other knee. Takes huge coordination, doesn't it? It's a tough one, I know. It takes a bit of concentration. No, not and simple. We're not going to do anything too tricky for the rest of the show. So once again, if you've just joined in, please get off the sofa, lay down on the floor, pick your knees up, start crunching. And I think I'll leave you with that one. Do it well. Four more. June Jones, June Jones, June Jones. I can get you to leave both your feet on the floor and do a pelvic tilt. Perfect. Pelvic tilt. Now you've got two options here. Hands are down. You can have your hands up. You can have them resting. Because ideally, you're pretty much just using your abs. If you want to make it a tad easy, you can push down on your hands and that's going to assist it a little bit, yeah? So once again, it's entirely up to you. Now, if I was in a really nasty mood, which I'm not, I'd probably make you lift the upper body as well. But I'm not going to do that. <laughs> like that. Now, ideally, you'd want to do a chin's down and put your hands back behind your head. Now, you can see how tight and short your abdominals are getting. So your abs get a really good workout as soon as you start incorporating both. But if you've just started on an exercise program, don't worry about this one. Leave it just with that pelvic tilt. All right, if I can get everyone to lay on their side and face the front, I'm coming back. Because at the end of abs, I can start doing it again. <laughs> okay. Hand in your hands, bottom leg bent, top leg straight. Drop the foot, lift the foot. Now, ideally, if you can roll your pelvis over a little bit, you're going to really target this area right here, side of your glutes. And I think most people would agree this is an area that they'd like to target. Keep going. If you've got perfect butt, you don't have to do it. You can get up and sit down on the sofa and watch the rest of it now. But if you've got a bit of trouble with your butt, do it with us. Eight to go. Eight. And lift. Seven. Nice and gently. Six. Keep going. Still four more. You're probably starting to feel it already. If you want to make it easier, do the same thing but with a bent leg. Okay. Down for one and up for three. Down. Lift. 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 Down. Lift. Now pull your elbow. Knee to your elbow. Knee to your elbow and press. I nearly said pull your elbow to your knee. What a good that would have done. Keep going. Four more, please. Four. And press. Now, if I can get you to take the hand away from your head, put both hands on the floor, both elbows on the floor. Now, pull your knee to your elbow and squeeze your bottom and push your heel backwards. Doesn't that feel great? Aren't you glad you're doing this with us? Don't you feel fabulous? What else would you rather be doing right now? Huh? Nothing. You're loving it. Come on, down. Just grit your teeth and bear it. Squeeze your bottom, push your heel back. Still four to go. Four. Up, three, and two. And we've got to do the other side. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, you, you want to do the other side next week? <laughs> Let's go. Down. Uh, that's what you're thinking, yeah, Michelle. We promise we'll do this other side next show. No, you won't. We'll do it now. Though you sometimes wish you only had one leg. See? <laughs> nope. Okay, down for one, up for three. Down. Lift. 
lift, 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 down, lift. Big point, just do that two more times. This side will hurt sooner, like probably right about now. Once again, hand in front, bring your knee to your elbow. In and press, in, press. Keep it pulling all the way in. Stomach's in tight and try not to let your back start moving around. Two to go. Let elbows and knee, elbows and hands on the floor. Pull your knee down to the ground. So your hips are rotated forward. Press. Come on, keep going. Eight more. Squeeze. Seven. Squeeze your bottom. Come on, so close. Four to go. Four. Press. Two more. Last one. Okay, on your back again. On your back. Crunches. Feet off the floor. Feet together and lift. Lower. Keep going. Just let your feet rest down near your bottom. Still four to go. Four. Am I the only one not moving my legs? I think so. I better pull my legs in too. Eight to go. Eight. Seven. Now, guys, once you finish these last six, we come back for a stretch. So please keep doing them and we'll see you real soon. and to stretch. So let's give our glutes a bit of a stretch first because they're the one the muscles we work predominantly. So rest the heel on the knee, lift up, reach through, pull it in tight. Just make sure your head isn't arched up so your neck is relaxed. Your bottom stays on the floor so you're not rolling it up. And just pull the knee into the chest to you feel a stretch right in through your glute. Should feel really quite comfortable. Stay there. Pull it in a little tighter. Okay, then rest the heel down, take the legs straight up and pulling into a hamstring stretch. Okay, appearing on your screen real soon will be a very, very important address. So make sure you memorise it. There it is, quick, 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 don't forget it. That is the address if you want to write to us here at Aerobics All Style. Whether you just want to write and let us know how you're going with your program, if you've got any questions, especially questions in relation to fitness and health and change legs. You'd be surprised some of the interesting questions we get. Cross the leg over, lift up, head and shoulders down. But we're always looking forward to hearing your feedback or hearing your progress. So please write into us, let us know how you're doing. Or even if you just want to know some of the industry gossip, whatever it is, write in, let us know. Pulling the leg right in tight, drop down, extend the leg up, pulling in just gently till you feel a stretch down your hamstring. Also, if there's any instructors out there who are looking, or, or any people who are looking to become aerobics instructors, we can always give you advice and things like that. And a big hello to all the aerobics instructors out there who watch, and I know there's a lot of you. Pull it in a little closer. And bend the knee. Just rock the legs a little bit forwards and backwards. Staying there. And one big motion, rock up. Ah! Good, good, good. Right leg straight. Left leg bent, grab the leg, pull it over to the opposing shoulder, chest up, hand behind, just rotate yourself around a little bit and you should get a really lovely stretch right in through your glute on the left side. Isn't that funny? Have you ever thought about that? We always talk about right and left. Now, if I'm facing you, that's right, that's left. But turn it around at what I'm actually saying. That's actually my left. But I've got to keep telling you to go right. So if I get a bit confused sometimes, Hopefully you'll appreciate why. Change legs. Lift up. So I'm on now, my right leg's bent, and I'm telling you to do your right leg. It's really my left. I'm confusing you, aren't you? Don't worry about it. Chest up, turn around. Hand behind if you want. Push your chest right up over your knee. Pull it in close, feeling a great stretch through the glute heel. Nearly there. You've done really well if you kept up with all of that. If you did most of it, you still did really well. If you did none of it, I know you'll join in next time. And relax. Feet up wide. Lift up, body up tall, and just gently creep your hands forward. If you can come only as far as that, as long as you're feeling the stretch, just stay in that position. If you can get any lower, get lower. Just try and see to it that your back is flat and your head and chest is up. 
hold it there. Now we're just going to rock forward and pull back. So rock forward, pull back. So it's a really small rocking motion. There's nothing ballistic about it or bouncy or out of control about it at all. Rock and pull. Rock, now take one giant rock down and hold it down. Hold it down. Good, you'll probably find you'll be able to get a little bit lower just by doing those small bounce movements, all those small rocking movements. And slowly roll up, take the right arm up and over, stretching all the way down the side of the body. Hold that there. Lift up, other side, up and over. You're grabbing off of an umbrella in a windy day. We got a little bit of a windy day, but it's a beautiful day still. Great blue skies, great scenery. And lift up. Okay, coming up onto your knees. Your toe in line with your knee. This is the last stretch that we've got for you today. Just want you to do this one on both sides. And we'll see you next time. Thanks for joining us. Bye-bye. <laughs>